Hi, it's R.I.B. Robert Imbonic, inspirational speaker, inspirational coach, and author of Soul Survivor, How an Abandoned Child Went From Nothing to Everything, published by New Holland. Now, if you're, if you're wondering, you're sitting on the fence wondering, uh, is this for me? You know, like, like what am I going to learn? I'm not even sure if I even want to write a book, right? So let me, let me tell you, let me tell you a, a, a story, right? So there's a lady um, called, called Stephanie Rodriguez, a friend of mine. Uh, I've mentioned her before. Uh, maybe you know the story, maybe you don't. So she is like a global entrepreneur, known her for many years. Haven't seen her for quite a few years and then kind of off the radar, right? That's the sort of thing. You know how it goes. And um, so she was, um, was launching a product, an app to the world that was basically designed for women and those, uh, I guess, more exposed members of society, okay? She was in Nigeria, uh, in Africa, launching it and was bitten by a mosquito and um, didn't show any real symptoms and she was, until she was leaving the airport in Boston. Before I go on with the story, two years prior to that, she sent an intention, right? And that intention was to positively impact the lives of one billion people. You heard it correctly? One billion people, right? Fast forward, or get back to the story. So now she collapses in Boston Airport and um, was rushed to hospital, okay? Now, this is where it gets a bit hairy. So she spends over 100 days in the hospital in, in Boston. It's about a million bucks. And thank God she had travel insurance. So basically they find out after, you know, she ends up dying three times, technically. She was given the last rights three times. So you're in a foreign country, right? Um, you're away from your, 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 your son, who is in Sydney. You're away from your friends and your family and all the rest of that. And you're sick and you're out, you, you know, you're, you're at the, I guess you're at the whim of other people, doctors and specialists and so on. So now, but she's fighting for her life, okay? And she dies three times, as I mentioned. She has her toes amputated because the drugs that she's taking um, are basically uh, drawing blood away from the vital organs towards the vital, most vital organ, the heart. Um, a bit like frostbite, right? Um, you, the, the extremities can only last so long without blood supply, oxygen and all the rest of that. So then she's eventually airlifted to Sydney where she's back reunited with her family, sent another you know, plus 100 days in the hospital there, and she's coming good now. Um, but here's the thing, you know, that intention she set one billion people positively impact by the year 2025. I believe that you know, the book that we're working on at the moment is gonna go a long way to that, right? But, but here's the thing, like, we may not all have an incredible story like that, but we all have a story. And I really believe that human beings inspire one, one another, right? That's how we get inspiration from listening to people's stories, from pulling um, the juice out of the story, whether it's resilience, whether it's honesty, whether it's courage. These things are hardwired within us, right? And, and when we hear other people's stories, like I've just recounted Stephanie Rodriguez, i.e. Stephanie, i.e. Rodriguez, like some of you will be, will be moved by this, you know? There's, a, there's a, another lady, a Jamaican lady I'm working, I'm working with at the moment, Marsha, and, and you know, she's an incredible woman. This one raised hundreds of, millions, hundreds of millions of dollars for charity in Jamaica, an absolute force of nature. There's an, a, another lady, um, two Indonesian women, which I've been advising, the first two Indonesian women to climb the seven highest mountains on the planet, including Everest. Right, it's called the Seven Summit Challenge. Um, amazing, absolutely amazing. Another lady, Christina, um, Spanish background. Her original um, ancestry, they were the ones who um, backed Christopher Columbus, <laughs> right? Um, in terms of the boat, uh, the investment, to send him around around the world and rest, the rest is history. There's a, there's another another lady um, who I spoke to who was caught up in the uh, Bosnian Croatian War, and and just spoke of how she managed to escape, and uh, so many things you know. And now she's living in Australia, um, has an amazing will to live, uh, courage, relentless, uh, like so. I mean, what I'm trying to share with you here is that you know. There's things that make us different. There's things that um, make us unique. But there are also things that tie us together as human beings. And what I love to do is find the things that, that do both, you know, that, that show our, our unique qualities but tie us together as human beings. And as human beings, we're inspired by other people. We're inspired by one another. And you know, no matter what walk of life that you're in, no matter what story um, you believe you have or don't, or don't have, we all have something to learn from one another. 
So now the book. So when it comes to books, you know, I spoke to a, a lady before who wasn't even, she wasn't even looking to even write a book, right? But then she heard what I had to say. Um, you know, then, then what basically happened was that I think the day before uh, it was floated in, in her mind about doing something, you know, for other people, right? Being of service to other people. So your book doesn't, ne doesn't necessarily have to be, um, you know, like a personal, you know, I'm doing it for my ego, you know, like one really powerful lesson that, that I learned um, a while ago that I was reminded of the other day by a guy called Evan Carmichael is, you know, the importance of, you know, being of service to others, right? So when you take it from that perspective of being of service to others, then it changes how you look at, it changes how you look at things. So maybe when you get that, you know, you kind of realize, well, you know, I have something to share to the world, right? And even though for me it may feel uncomfortable, right, that, that it, maybe it feels egotistical that I'm writing a book, look at it through the view of, you know, how can I be of service to others? And when you look at it from that point of view, then that book or that intention will begin to flow through you. When that happens, then you probably arrive on the same page as what I'm talking about now, which is why I believe it's really important that we release more books because we inspire one another through our stories, you know, through our lives, through the things that we've come across to realize that you know, um, courage is inbuilt within us. Right? We all have courage. It's just that most of the time it takes an incredible series of, of events to bring that courage up. But it's hardwired within us. Right? So, so this, is, this is what we're talking about. And this is why I believe it's so important that we, that we write books. We turn our story into a book. All right? So trust that's been of value. Speak to you soon. Bye for now.